Hi there, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. In this tutorial, I show you how I crochet a little pineapple. I hope you'll enjoy it. So for this little project, we need yarn in a DK or light worsted weight, and I like to use 100% cotton yarn. This is Rico Creative Ricorumi DK in yellow and green. Then we need some fiber fill. A 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is equivalent to a B1. And then we need a yarn needle. And something to put the fiber fill in. So I used an old pair of tights and I just cut off the um, the bit where the foot goes in, like maybe seven centimeters, so less than three inches. And mine are black, but dark brown will work as well. And of course, some scissors. We start with the yellow yarn with a magic ring. If you need a more detailed tutorial on how to make a magic ring, I'll link to a small video tutorial I made in the upper right corner. Otherwise, just use your preferred method to make a magic ring. There are so many ways to do this. This is just how I like to do it. It's comfortable for me, but you just do whichever way, do it whichever way you like. So once you've got your magic ring, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we'll double crochet two into the magic ring. One, and two. Then we make a chain, and now we double crochet three. And I'm using American terminology here, so that would be a treble crochet in British terminology. That's two. And three. Then one more chain. And three more double crochet. One. Two three one more chain and three more double crochet. So now we can pull the end of the magic ring tight. And that's our first round almost complete. Now all that's left to do is make another chain and then slip stitch one right here in between the two chains we made and the first double crochet. Just a slip stitch. And that's round number one complete. Now in round two, we start with another slip stitch in the first double crochet of the round. So just the next stitch from where we are. And now we chain three, one, two, three, and then we double crochet two in the very same stitch. That's one, and two. Now we find the chain we made, the next chain, so that's where there's a little gap. And that's, in this gap, we're going to double crochet three. So under the chain, in between double crochets. 
double crochet three. Next, we will double crochet a three in the middle double crochet of the next group of three. So we sk skip one stitch and double crochet three in the second stitch from where we are. And once again, we find the gap where we made a chain before in between double crochet and that's where we're going to double crochet our next three. One. Two. Three. And the next one goes again in the middle double crochet of the next group of three. So skip one stitch and double crochet three in the second stitch. Now the next three double crochet go again under the chain in this gap here in between double crochet. So one, two, and three, and once more, we skip one and the double crochet three in the second double crochet, the middle double crochet of the next group of three. And that's three. Actually there's one more to go because here there's the last gap, the last chain that we made and that's where we're going to double crochet our next three. two and three and now we complete the round by slip stitching not just between the chain of three and the first double crochet but only in the front loop of the third top chain and that's round number two complete now the next four rounds, so round three to six, will be worked exactly the same way. And we start by making a chain of three, but we don't do it from where we are just now. We insert our hook here, so we go properly under the third chain that we started the last round with, and pull the yarn through from there. So that way it's much more stable than just pushing into the front loop. And then we chain one, two, three, and now we double crochet two in the exact same place. One, and two, and now we skip two, one, two, and double crochet three in the third stitch. And this should be the first double crochet of the next group of three. It's two and three. Once again, we skip two and insert our hook in the third stitch and double crochet three right here. That's three. And skip two. 
and double crochet three in the third. And we repeat this until the round is complete. And then we should have eight groups of three double crochet, like we already did after round two, but this time they will be easier to see because there's a triangle shape gap in between each group. Oops. Two and three. And this was our last group of three double crochet. And now we close the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain. So only into sorry, only into the front loop of the third chain. So trying to make this easier. My yarn needle. That's it. So slip stitch in here. The next four rounds, round three to six, will be work the exact same way. So we start with a chain of three, but we don't begin it from where we are right now in the front loop of the third chain. Instead, we insert our hook in between the chain of three and the first double crochet that we made in the previous round. And we pick up the yarn and make our three chains from here. And then we double crochet two in the same spot in between the three chains and the first double crochet. Then we skip two. So this is the first stitch, this is the second, and the this is the third, so it's the first double crochet of the next group of three, in which we double crochet three. That's three, and then repeat, skip two, and double crochet three in the third stitch. And again, skip two and double crochet three in the third. And we're going to repeat this until the round is complete. And then we will have eight groups of three double crochet, like we did before, but this time they will be easier to identify because there are these triangle shaped gaps in between. So we just complete the round. So this was my last group of three double crochet. So I have eight of these now. And I complete the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain. Sorry, in, I make a slip stitch in the front loop of the third chain. And then we just repeat this for three more rounds, round four to six. So again, we Insert our hook in between the chain 
the chain of three and the first double crochet chain three and then double crochet two in the same place then skip two so this is the first this is the second the third is the first double crochet of the next group of three and then we double crochet three into this third stitch first double crochet of the next group and so on and so on so you can pause the video here and hit play once you completed round six I completed round six now so now it's time to fill our pineapple so secure your stitch either you can pull out the yarn a lot so you won't lose your stitch or you can secure it with the stitch marker and now we need our little sock or whatever you're using and first I put this in and kind of line the inside of the pineapple And then I just insert the fiber fill bit by bit. And don't be afraid to use too much. I'll definitely try to fit in some more. And then just try to close the sock. Just divide it into two parts and it's super stretchy, so that's not too difficult. So I have two ends that I can tie together. Just make another knot and that's it. So now we'll just crochet around this. So now we can continue with round seven. And for that, I just make a single crochet in between the three chains and the first double crochet. And while I'm crocheting, I try to push the filling in just to make sure that it all goes inside the pineapple. Then we skip to and double crochet three in the third. So again, this is the first double crochet of the next group of three. One, two, and three. Then we skip two and single crochet in the third stitch. And next we skip two and again double crochet three. 
into the third stitch. One. Two. And three. Now we skip two and single crochet in the third. And skip two and double crochet again. Just notice that I missed one here. So if that happened to you as well, don't worry. Because I put in all the filling, I don't want to go back now, so I will just keep going. So I only skip one, but you skip two if you've done it right. And then double crochet three in the third stitch again. One, two, and three, and then I just complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first single crochet that I made. Now I'll just make sure that it's all in the right shape and that no weird ends of the sock are sticking out or anything like that, that it's all nicely tucked in. So once that's the case, I just continue with round eight. So I just single crochet the next stitch and then in the next stitch I will change color so I pull the yellow yarn through so now I got two loops for my hook two yellow loops and then I pull the green yarn through Just pull the yellow end nice and tight. Can cut the end already. So now we continue with green and we do something a bit tricky. So we crochet three stitches together. So we make an invisible decrease, but we skip the stitch in the middle. And it won't be that tricky actually, because it's a small stitch right here. So insert your hook in the front loop of the next stitch, then skip the small stitch there, and insert your hook in the front loop of the third stitch. Pull the yarn through and then just complete the single crochet. And that's it. Now we single crochet one in the next. And again we crochet three stitches together. 
So insert your hook in the front loop, skip the small stitch there, insert your hook in the front loop of the third stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, and pick it up again and pull it through the two remaining loops. Now again one regular single crochet and crochet three together. So insert it in the front loop, skip the next one, insert it in the front loop of the third, There we go. Pick up the yarn, pull it through, and complete this single crochet. Now, one more regular single crochet, and one more crocheting three stitches together. And that's round eight complete. So now we can tie these ends together. Now we can start with the crown. So for that I chain 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we slip stitch two. So start with the second chain from our hook. And slip stitch, make another slip stitch in the next chain. Then two single crochet. Two half double crochet, and then three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then we slip stitch in the next stitch, which is the last yellow stitch there. And now we repeat this. So we chain 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as we did before, slip stitch in the second chain from our hook. Once more, so two slip stitches, second one in the next chain, then single crochet in the next, another single crochet, two half double crochet, and three double crochet.
and the third one. And a slip stitch in the next stitch of the round. And we repeat this five more times until the round is complete. Now that's the first round of the leaves complete. So next, I'm just inserting my hook here under the middle double crochet of this group and make a slip stitch so that I can chain seven this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this time I make one slip stitch in the second chain from my hook. One slip stitch, then one single crochet in the next chain, one half double crochet in the next chain, and three double crochet. One, two, and three. And now we'll insert a hook right here. This is the beginning of the round, so it's the chain. To make a slip stitch right here. There we go. And then another slip stitch under the first double crochet. And then we chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, slip stitch in the second chain from your hook. Then single crochet one, the next chain half double crochet one in the next and finish with three double crochet. One, two, and three, then we insert our hook right here under the first double crochet of the next group of three. Make a slip stitch there. And then slip stitch under the second double crochet, so the middle double crochet of this group and again chain seven and we continue this until one round is complete and we end up right here where we made the first leaf of the second round. So this is the last leaf so now I'm going to make a slip stitch right here under the first double crochet of this next group of three double crochet. Just make a slip stitch and then I leave a long end because I want to use it to sew the these leaves in position. Just pull it through. But first 
I'm going to weave in this yellow end. So the yellow tail and the other green tail are woven in and now I use this long tail to sew these leaves together so that they are more upright and form the nice crown that the pineapple has. So I just go through here and start with this leaf. So I just fold them up and stitch through to the other side. And then through here. And this way I work my way up and I do this until I'm happy with how it looks. I think I'm good with that, so now I'm just going to weave in the end in one of those leaves. And that's it, our little pineapple is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, feel free to like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any future crochet tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching and crocheting along with me. Happy creating!